So today I'm at the shooting range and uh, my intention today is to make a little video about uh, comparing two rifles. Uh, for you guys who have followed me uh, for a while you know that I uh, have one SIG Cross uh, and I've had it now for a couple of years and I like it a lot. As I said before, I'm not 100% uh, happy about the looks of the rifle, but uh, for me a rifle in first hand is a tool. And uh, to be a tool, this rifle is really nice. It's lightweighted, it's well balanced, the weight is between your hands when you're holding in it. And it's also, also very adjustable on the stock, both in height and uh, length of pull. And uh, overall I, I like it a lot. But this is normal bolt action and uh, half a year ago we was allowed, approximately half a year ago, we were allowed to hunt in Sweden also with the same automatic rifles like uh, the AR, AR style rifles. Uh, before we couldn't have rifle that looked like anything that could be uh, uh, similar to a military rifle, but we can nowadays. So I reached out to the Swedish distributor of Savage and uh, they was nice to me and von Pruk to borrow this rifle to me for a couple of weeks so I could try it out here on the shooting range. And this is an MSR-10 uh, and uh, I haven't been in contact with this kind of rifle since I did my military service and that's more than 30 years ago. Uh, but I'm very keen on trying things out and evaluate them to watch each other. And since those two rifles are a little similar style, but this is semi-automatic and that is normal bolt action. So I was thinking, yeah, uh, we check it out. Uh, what's really interesting with exactly this uh, AR-10 is that it is very compact and small compared to uh, many others one I have seen and this is because it has a monolithic upper uh, where the barrel is uh, free floating and uh, I think that should be interesting to check out here how that affects the accuracy. So uh, what I will do now is shoot a couple of rounds with both of those rifles and we will see uh, how the accuracy between those rifles if there is uh, anything to say about that. And uh, after that I will summarize uh, my thoughts about uh, comparing those rifles and uh, what I would prefer to go hunting with. So uh, let's start shooting.
So, now I have shot 10 rounds each with the two rifles, the Savage MSR-10 and the Sig Cross. And uh, the MSR-10 is in caliber uh, 308, and I've used uh, Hornady's match ammo, ELD, ELD match. And also for the uh, Sig, I have used Hornady ELD uh, match, but that rifle is in caliber 65 Creedmoor. So, of course, with the, the, these 10 rounds each from these rifles, there is nothing like that can be evaluated too much, but it, it uh, will give a little uh, indication of, uh, uh, of some, something at least. I, and what I also should say, I have used the si same kind of uh, support when I've shot. I also have the magnification of the two rifle scope on the same. It has been nine in this case. I also used the same reticle uh, and uh, I used uh, a Tridicon uh, back uh, that I normally have in all my, uh, more or less all my uh, rifle scopes. So uh, in that way they are similar, there shouldn't be any, uh, anything that can uh, affect the shooting. So uh, now we go up to the board and see how uh, the shots have turned out. So, here we have the shots. This is with the uh, uh, Savage MSR-10 and uh, that rifle scope I haven't sighted in. Uh, the BAC reticle is like an arrow pointing upwards and uh, I'm trying to hold so I rest the centrum uh, dot of the target on the tip of the, of the uh, triangle. And here is 10 shots. Uh, I don't think there is so much to say about it. Uh, I felt I had a, have some little bad fire. Maybe that is that one, I don't know. But uh, I think there is maybe 60 millimeters or something like that. And this is with the uh, Sig Cross uh, 65 Creedmoor with the same reticle, the same aiming. And here is 10 shots. So uh, this is maybe slightly better, but it's actually more or same, more or less the same. So I think when it uh, comes to accuracy with this ammunition uh, during this, uh, those circumstances I've been today, uh, there is no difference if I will choose to go and hunt with a uh, Cross or with uh, uh, MSR-10. But there is, is also uh, some other difference between the rifles that we shall dis discuss when we come back to the shooting bench. But here is the result. And of course, uh, as with all shooting, if you uh, do some uh, hand loading or when you change ammunition and so on, uh, that fits the rifle maybe better. Of course, you can uh, both uh, shrink and increase the, the groupings. But uh, I, I don't think... Uh, I would hesitate to go and hunt uh, deer or wild boar with any of those rifles. So, what is my conclusion and my personal thoughts after have using this rifle for a couple of hundred rounds here on the shooting range? Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, it's really fun to shoot with and I, uh, I, I like the platform. Uh, now I'm definitely no, no expert, of course, of this kind of rifle, but the modularity and stuff like that, it's really nice that you can change out buttstocks and so on, uh, really uh, easy. But uh, when it comes to hunting, I should prefer to use this. I, or I prefer to use this out in the forest. And this is mainly because I, the way I hunt, I have no big need for a semi-automatic rifle. So if I can gain some weight, by use, uh, using the Seacross instead. And I also feel that it's uh, smoother. Even if I don't feel like this rifle is clumsy, but this feel really, really smooth, smooth and I, I like it a lot. Uh, 
and when it comes to the style of rifling in general uh, because they have uh, both similarities but also big differences but uh, when it comes to the style of rifle I really like it I, I, I think that I have a really good grip and uh, I get a really uh, nice uh, uh, firing with uh, the straight straight grip what I also like really much is that I can get the grip far out on the handguard so I feel very stable when shooting standing up with no rest uh, also when taking rest out in the forest if I forgot my shooting sticks or something like that I really like that uh, the barrel is free floating inside the handguard so I can take rest on the rocks and stones and, uh, and trees and so on uh, especially when you find a tree that where you can put a rifle into and twist it a little so you really lock it down you get really steady shooting but when it comes to the pure looks of the rifle me myself I prefer a traditional rifle with a wooden stock it's nice to look on and uh, I really uh, feel a little more joy being out in the forest with that kind of rifle but uh, for me, rifle, the rifle is a tool and I should use the rifle that I feel that I get the best results out in the forest. So uh, in that way, it's really, really nice. And when it comes to that in Sweden now, there is a discussion going on that many hunters don't like that we are allowed to hunt with a rifle that look like a military rifle. Uh, because the main uh, argument is what shall the general public say when they see us hunters going around with military rifle, rifles in the forest. And uh, me, myself, I don't care because I uh, think that uh, we shall hunt with the rifle and the tool that suits us best. And uh, me, myself, actually don't think that uh, general citizen care about if I'm using an old Mauser M98 or I use a modern style rifle like the Savage MSR-10. Uh, uh, if you don't like hunting, uh, you don't like hunt hunting. So uh, use the tool you like the most. Uh, and I hope to change the gun laws here in Sweden so we can own more rifle. In that case, I will really much want to have one of these. So I can have it for some purposes for hunting, but also here on the shooting range because it's a really nice rifle.